it is time to play hide and seek. You have two options. First, you can hide behind a bush. Second, you can hide behind a house. Your opponent will not see where you hide, and afterward must make a decision whether to search the bush or search the house. If this were a normal game of hide and seek, they would only have the opportunity to choose once, and if they chose the correct spot, you would lose and they would win. If they chose incorrectly, you would win and they would lose. The solution to such a game is straightforward. You should hide behind the bush 50% of the time and hide behind the house 50% of the time. Your opponent should then search the bush 50% of the time and search the house 50% of the time. When both of you randomize like that, there's nothing that either one of you can do to exploit the other. But that game is kind of boring. So let's spice things up. Specifically, let's put you in camouflage. Thus, if you hide behind the bush, and then your opponent searches the bush, there is some chance that they will not spot you. Specifically, that camouflage is 25% effective. And it will only work behind the bush. If you hide behind the house, the camouflage will do absolutely nothing for you. Here's the puzzle. Now that you're dressed in that camouflage, should you hide behind the bush more often or less often than before? And likewise, should your opponent search behind the bush more often or less often? And while you think about that, check out some of these cool books that I've written. Your hint for today comes out of Chapter 1 of Game Theory 101, The Complete Textbook. You need to apply the mixed strategy algorithm to work through the optimal randomization that both you and your opponent should implement. Are you ready for the solution? It'll help to aggregate all of the information from this game into a simple payoff matrix. You choose the row strategies to either hide behind the bush or hide behind the house. Your opponent chooses the column strategies to either search behind the bush or search behind the house. Three of these outcomes are straightforward. If you hide behind the house, and your opponent searches behind the bush, or you hide behind the bush and your opponent searches behind the house, you are guaranteed to win and your opponent is certain to lose. Thus, your winning percent is 100 and your opponent's is zero. The reverse is true when your opponent guesses correctly about you hiding behind the house. Under that circumstance, you lose for sure and they win for sure. The camouflage will do absolutely nothing to help you out under the circumstance. The fourth outcome is a little bit trickier. If you hide behind the bush and your opponent searches the bush, now the camouflage comes into play. And because it's 25% effective, you will win 25% of the time, whereas your opponent will win 75% of the time. From here, to answer the puzzle questions, all we need to do is solve the game. Despite the addition of camouflage, the structure here is still that of a basic guessing game. You want to mismatch strategies, whereas your opponent wants to match strategies. Even though there's camouflage, if you hide behind the bush, your opponent wants to search the bush. But if your opponent is searching the bush, you want to hide behind the house. But if you're hiding behind the house, your opponent wants to search behind the house. But if your opponent is searching behind the house, then you want to hide behind the bush. But if you're hiding behind the bush, then they want to search behind the bush, and so forth. The cycle begins anew.
Thus, each of you needs to randomize to prevent the other from exploiting predictability. For you, that means choosing a mixture between hiding behind the bush and hiding behind the house that leaves your opponent clueless about what to do. In other words, their expected payoff from searching behind the bush needs to be made equal to their expected payoff for searching behind the house. We can calculate all of those things. Let P represent the probability that you hide behind the bush, and thus 1 minus P is the probability that you hide behind the house. Then we can write your opponent's payoff for searching behind the bush as follows. It is 0.75 times P plus 0 times 1 minus P. That's because P portion of the time you will be hiding behind the bush, and 75% of the time they will see through your camouflage. However, the remaining 1 minus P portion of the time you have hidden behind the house and thus their efforts to search the bush will be completely fruitless. Likewise, we can calculate their payoff for searching behind the house as 0 times p plus 1 times 1 minus p. That's because the p portion of the time that you have hidden behind the bush, they will certainly lose by searching behind the house but the 1 minus p portion of the time that you have hidden behind the house, you will certainly lose, and they will certainly win. The goal of your randomization is to make your opponent indifferent between searching behind the bush and searching behind the house. Thus, we need to set those two payoffs equal to one another. And if we do that, and then do a little bit of rearranging, we can solve for your mixed strategy as p equal to 4 sevenths. Thus, if you randomize between hiding behind the bush and hiding behind the house, with probability 4 sevenths on the bush and 3 sevenths on the house, your opponent is indifferent between searching behind the bush and searching behind the house. And under those circumstances, there's nothing your opponent can do to exploit you. Consequently, to answer the first half of the puzzle, with camouflage, you are now more inclined to hide behind the bush. That's intuitive. After all, the camouflage is helping you not be spotted when you choose to hide there. What your opponent should do is not as obvious. On one hand, they should be aware of your new temptation to hide behind the bush. On the other hand, searching behind the bush is no longer as effective, so it's unclear whether they should actually search behind the bush more often or less often than before. Fortunately, we can answer that question by figuring out what their optimal mix strategy is. Here, their goal is to make you indifferent between hiding behind the bush and hiding behind the house. We can start off by calculating what your payoff is for hiding behind the bush. If we let Q be the probability that your opponent is searching behind the bush, and thus 1 minus Q is the probability that they're searching behind the house, then your payoff for hiding behind the bush is 0.25 times Q plus 1 times 1 minus Q. That's because the Q portion of the time that they search behind the bush you'll still be able to win 25% of the time due to the camouflage. On the other hand, if your opponent has searched the house, then they have guessed incorrectly, and you win for sure. Meanwhile, your payoff for hiding behind the house is a little cleaner. With probability Q, you win for sure, and with probability 1 minus Q, you lose for sure. Remember that your opponent's goal here is to find a mixed strategy that leaves you indifferent between those two choices. Thus, we should set those two payoffs equal to one another. And from here, we can solve for Q, as Q also equal to 4 sevenths. Thus, if your opponent searches behind the bush with probability 4 sevenths, 
and searches behind the house with probability three sevenths, you are indifferent between choosing to hide behind the bush and hiding behind the house, and there's nothing that you can do to exploit your opponent. But this also tells us the answer to the puzzle question. Now that we have camouflage, your opponent becomes more inclined to search behind the bush than search behind the house. In effect, they actually need to compensate for the weakness that they have because of the camouflage by over-searching the bush to counteract the temptation that you have to hide behind the bush and try to exploit the camouflage. Did you figure this one out? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Take care.